My knit box! Yes, guys! Dude, these are my two bias wreckers. These are literally my two bias wreckers. <gasps> A tote bag! Oh, cute! Okay, these are Taste of Love uh, photo cards. If you're a pupper, you need to try Clute Box. Clute Box specially curates a box full of collectible K-pop merch and delicious Korean snacks straight to your door every season. Just go to clutebox.com, choose your favorite K-pop group and member, and don't forget to enjoy Clute Box with your friends. One of BTS's specialties is turning cities purple and full of festivities, just like they did in Las Vegas, and recently in Busan. But BTS is currently on a break, and while some people thought it would be their downfall, it turned out to be a great opportunity for them to dominate the world one by one as soloists. Just this week, both Yoongi and Jimin took over New York City, and filled it with armies. On one side of New York Yoongi just kicked off his first sold out solo world tour in the US, at the UBS arena with 18.5k capacity for two days in a row. On the other side Jimin attended the grand opening of Tiffany & Co's new store in New York City. There were a lot of armies waiting for Jimin outside of the store, and even celebrities were also aware of how big Jimin's impact was. Guys, don't worry, Jimin is coming, okay? We <laughs> <laughs> have a lot of fans waiting for you outside. I, for the I told them you were coming to the monkey boy thing. And in the end, Jimin really stole the show and once again being the main character of his strong presence alone. Meanwhile, at UBS Arena Ram is gathered to see the first ever performance of August D. The arena was filled up to the top and the energy of the audience was unmatched. Hello, hello, hello myself. Hello, hello, hello myself. Hello, hello, hello myself. Yo, play your head on your shit. I feel a little bit out our members on stage. But having you all here makes me feel better. Oh, you guys listen really well. It's better today than, than yesterday. August D performed 23 songs including medleys with powerful and heartfelt deliveries, and aside from his wonderful performances, it's also worth noting how creative the stage design was. He has floating stages which will be pulled up one by one to the ceiling, until he eventually left with none of them, and then he's gonna start performing on the ground with the hidden stage props he already has down there, completely at eye level with the audiences. He also started the concert by being carried onto the stage and ended it by being carried off the stage which was very unique and symbolic. His amygdala stage seems to be symbolizing his own phoenix reborn with the fire element below the stage as well. 
This statement of artistic intent gained him a solid 5 stars from the NME reviews. In conclusion, his first ever solo concert in New York was a total success. And the best thing is, this isn't the end, this is just the beginning, and we will be seeing more of him in his upcoming shows. Let's keep up with our energy and support him in the best way we can. So, will you also go to a Gus D concert? Or maybe you already went to yesterday's shows? Or are you team online streaming? Please comment down below. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can also support me on Coffee. See you in the next video.